In the aftermath of the cataclysmic events of World War III, humanity underwent a transformation unlike any other. As the radioactive fallout settled, the survivors found themselves changed, their bodies twisted and mutated by the harsh realities of their new world. Amidst the ruins of civilization, nature began to reclaim its dominion, weaving a tapestry of greenery and life amidst the desolation. Cities once choked with smoke and ash now lay silent, overrun by creeping vines and tangled undergrowth. And amidst this verdant landscape, the Teletubby mounds rose like ancient monoliths. Their earthen forms a stark reminder of humanity's fall from grace. From the depths of these mounds, the Teletubbies emerged, their twisted forms a testament to the horrors they had endured. Their gas masks, once symbols of survival, had become fused with their flesh, melding together until they were indistinguishable from one another. And yet, despite their monstrous appearance, there was a strange beauty to them, a tragic elegance born from the crucible of their suffering. Above ground, a new culture arose from the ashes of the old. The wail of air raid sirens had long since faded into memory, replaced by the haunting melody of horn trumpets, their mournful notes echoing through the streets as a reminder of humanity's darkest hour. But amidst the ruins, there were signs of hope. Windmill farms rose from the earth like sentinels, their blades turning gracefully in the breeze harnessing the power of nature to create a new source of energy for the world. It was a symbol of humanity's resilience, a testament to their ability to adapt and survive in even the harshest of environments. And then there was the tubby custard, a strange and mysterious concoction that had become a staple of the new society, inspired by the rations that had sustained humanity in its darkest hour. It was a reminder of the lengths to which people had been forced to go in order to survive, made from whatever scraps of food could be scavenged from the wasteland. It served as a grim reminder of the fragility of life in this new world. But perhaps most striking of all was the worship of the sun. Once hidden behind a thick shroud of fallout, it had become a deity in its own right, revered and worshipped by the survivors as a symbol of hope and renewal. Each day they would gather together to offer prayers and sacrifices in its honor, their faces upturned towards the sky as they basked in its warm embrace. And so, amidst the ruins of the old world, a new society emerged, a society shaped by loss and suffering, but also by resilience and hope. And as the Teletubbies watched from their mounds, silent guardians of a world that had been forever changed by the horrors of war, they knew that they were part of something greater than themselves, a part of the tapestry of life that stretched out before them, waiting to be woven anew.